Sexy Walden people from YouTube, how you guys doing? I hope you guys having a good day. Hope you guys walden a lot. Today's video, guys, I want you guys to tell you about what I'm gonna do. I have this coupon here. Uh, I had a bunch of coupons laying around. I just got back from North Dakota, and I've been here for a couple weeks, you know, holidays, Thanksgiving, all that. So I've been slacking, to be honest with you guys. So, But I thought to myself, you know, I have all these coupons. Why not do a G series, you know? A G series, what that means is I'm gonna try to do all the G's in pipe that there is, that I know, all right? <clears throat> what does that mean? We're gonna do one G, which is this position right here, but that means you can move the pipe, you know? If you wanna move it, put it however you want it, move it around, that's one G. And a little reminder, I have done this before guys I have done all these G's before like in school and at work too but um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I know how Captain Manny Wells and all that all right we'll we'll learn together after that 2G horizontal you don't move it so that will be 2G right here you know horizontal position you do get them sometimes at work all right and then after that we'll do 5G, which is you tag your pipe and you don't move it like this, all right? You put it at any height you want, but once you tag it, then you don't move it, all right? And then after, after that, it comes a 6G, 45 degree angle. So you have to put it 45. I'll show you guys how Captain Money practice what I learned from school and what I've been learning at work. I'll show you my setup, guys. All right, so let's get started. I'll start with something easy, something you know that I can, that is not hard for me. So we'll start with a 6G. Oh my God! Just kidding, guys. We'll start with something easy. We'll start with the 1G right here. We'll tack it. I'll probably put two tacks and two tacks and let it move all right so without further ado guys let's get started all right guys so we have a pipe ready to go we have our ground we have our stinger ready we're just gonna use 6010 1a rod and we're gonna attack that bottom we're gonna attack the top 12 o'clock six o'clock and we're just gonna get going all right we're just gonna play with the heat and get it Get it done, all right? So let's get it. So we finished the root. Let's take a look inside. It looks pretty good. Not too bad. Um, so now we're just gonna, you know, grind the top, make it nice and smooth, and do a hot pass with 6010. All right. Let's get it, dude.
guys, we're gonna do our fill pads. I'm gonna use 1 8 80 10 rod, and we're gonna be a uh, third gear to 40, alright? Alright, so we just finished the field pass with 8010, 18. This is what it looks like, guys. Uh, we're just gonna hit the high points, and if it's low at certain points, we're just gonna do a little pass, but everything looks good. We're gonna use 8010, 532 rod, still third gear, and 55. Alright, let's get it. Alright guys, so this is my cap, not too shabby, it looks alright, it's not the best I've seen, but it's not the worst either, so, um, like I said, we're gonna learn it together, this is 80 turn, we're gonna keep practicing so, until we master it, alright, so, let's just keep going and keep welding. Alright, my sexy welding people from YouTube, so that was it for today's video guys, we did a... Uh, a 1G of the 4G's pipe series that we have going on. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I want to remind you guys that this is how I learned how to wall pipe at school. And this is how um, I wall pipe, all right? I'm not an expert. I never said I'm the best at welding pipe. Um, you know, like I said in the earlier in the video, we learned together, um, you know, if you hear, other welders telling you different tips, you know, it's just whatever works for you guys, all right? This is how I do it, and you know, it might work for some of you guys, it might not work for you guys, maybe you guys are already welding and you guys weld different, and that's fine. At the end of the day, guys, as long as you pass the test and you're making that cheddar, that's what it matters, all right? So, stay tuned for more videos from Captain Manny. 2G is coming up next, all right? We're gonna do 2G after this, and we're just gonna follow that sequence, you know, one, two, five, and six G, all right? So, I hope you guys like this video. Stay safe out there and keep welding, all right? I'll see you next time, amigos, bye.